Welcome back to the UGF Pandas. We have finished season one, we're heading on to season two, and thankfully, we still have a job. We're definitely not doing the coaching carousel, because I'm not going to quit on my pandas until we get a championship. Ugh, I forgot the offseason takes like 8,000 years to simulate through. I'm going to be here for a minute. In case you forgot, we finished four and eight last season. We can't really go anywhere but up from here. <laughs> Next season, we're just shooting for a bowl game. Coaching changes. The Sun Belt, that's all I care about. Uh, where are we? Ooh, everyone at Georgia State got fired. <laughs> My goodness. A freshman that we never used is transferring to Central Michigan. That's fine. You weren't really that good anyway. It looks like none of these guys are going to be able to play at the next level. I'm not surprised though. <laughs> They played for the UGF Pandas. You know, I think it's appropriate now to do a little montage of all the seniors in Season 1. Ryan Dingle. Good blocks. This could be a touchdown. Get to the corner. Oh no, it's gonna be close. Pushed out at the one yard line. What a big time run for Dingle. Jakari McClelland. D-line wants the win. Nobody else does apparently. Fourth sack of the game for Jakari McClelland. That is a new school record. Hakeem Perez. This is gonna be in some coverage. Perez, he got it. Oh my goodness, what a play. Left tackle. Don't really have a lot of plays for that guy. Oh my, oh, I'm sorry, Dingle. Victor Holmes. Over this one. Oh, they went to the other side. That's an interception, Holmes. His second one of the season, I believe. Tez Triplett. He's open. Wow, they are not covering the... Oh, Triplett, go. Big plays for the Pandas. Tore an angle. Surprised he didn't tear an ankle. Diving catch for Tore an angle. Kind of threw it behind him, but we'll take the touchdown. Jose Shelton. That's a good toss. Shelton back-to-back -back tackles. Another screen pass. This one to the other side. Shelton, three plays in a row for the senior. The legend, Tamadamo. <laughs> Look how many guys they have stacked up right on the middle. I'm still going to it. Get in there, son. Touchdown. You can't hold him back. Adamo, second one of the game. This dude has to have the most touchdowns on our team. Howard Cook. Oh, Cook, run. Go, big boy. Go, Cook. Gonna get their touchdown. Cook is not even a scrambling quarterback. The big old chunky pocket passer running it in for our inaugural touchdown of the UGF Panda Series. Dusty Browning. Didn't see him, I don't think ever. And that's everyone that we really cared about. On to the next stage. Oh man, I missed that feature. Export your draft class to Madden 25. That one hit me right in the feels. The draft results. Oh, look, no UGF players got drafted. I'm shocked. Let's see how many Alabama players went. Oh, really? Only three? No one in the first round? That doesn't seem legit. Jarrett Stidham in the sixth round. Lies. Oh, we're getting a freshman right end from Florida International. Let me peek at his ratings a little bit more. 80 strength. He looks like a solid, well-rounded player. Kyle Stevens, Sam Ramirez, we're still in the recruiting battles, and this is our last chance to recruit them. 10,000 points remaining. Well, we gotta make a couple of decisions here because we have a ton of people on the board. We need a fullback. Whoops, haven't really been recruiting that. We need a middle linebacker. Also, have, have not been recruiting that. If we could legitimately get the number one athlete in the nation, that would be dumb, but awesome. I don't have enough points to go all in just on him, so I'm just gonna give him 2,500 and hope it's enough. Kyle Stevens would be epic though. That would bolster our offensive line like crazy. We gotta spread out these points. This is depressing. I've never had this situation in the offseason. It's difficult. Kyle Stevens, absolutely number one recruit we want, right? Wait a second. That doesn't make any sense at all. That's gotta be a bug. The deal breaker is playing time, but his playing time should be A+, plus because our O-line is trash. Like, this guy would start 100% of the time, every time. So hopefully it's a glitch and it goes away by next week, but this is, your, this is our setup right here. Oh, boys, it's signing day. Cross your fingers. Come on, baby, give me something good. Tony Romo, level seven. That means we got at least one recruit, I hope. Damn it. Kyle Stevens committed to UCF. Terrell, who we wasted 2,500 points on, committed to Washington. I guess if I was a better player and more experienced, I would have known that would have happened, but it was still worth a shot, I guess. Oh, he signed a four-star prospect, though. He's not our best player, but he is our highest rated recruit in terms of, like, his star rating, which on the field doesn't really play out to anything, but I think it helps in terms of your overall school score. 
Everyone on this board will have signed to a team. Oh, except for this guy. Brandon Ellison just didn't sign anywhere. Number one athlete in the nation decided to go to Washington. He, he made a very last second decision, didn't he? Sad to see Kyle Stevens go, but we weren't that high on him for a while. I guess you could say we got uh, Kyle Stevens' brother, Matt. Hopefully he's better than his brother, even though he's definitely not. His brother is very good. We did get the four-star wide receiver in Sam McDonald, though. That's exciting. The anchor of our team, Jeff Warren, 77 overall three-star Juco athlete. Future Heisman. I hope. Position changes. This is one of my favorite stages. Not sure why. We're gonna go ahead and start it off with our two athletes. Jeff Warren, 70, 78 overall free safety, 77 overall corner. Gonna start him at corner, and then we're gonna move him into the offense every now and then at running back. Jeff Warren gonna be leading the defense. I love it. And we got three freshmen behind him. Honestly, let's move Rayshon Tanner to a different position. Let's see what else he can play. He's a 73 overall wide receiver, which is his highest rated position. But we also have a ton of good receivers. So I'm going to move him over to running back. He's got some pretty decent speed too, so this could actually work out for us. This guy is 6'6", 64 overall wide receiver. Oh wait, he's 43 overall tight end. I thought I was going to be able to make the change, but absolutely not. I didn't even realize how good this wide receiver actually is. 70 overall freshman. Yeah, this guy's going to be a beast. Wait, hold up. I didn't even see Tavares Walker was this good. You better believe we're moving him to left tackle. Well, those are all the position changes I'm going to do right now. Now it's time to move on to my favorite part of the offseason. Trading results. Who has the highest overall rated boost? BJ Hale still the highest on the team at 85. Rayshon Tanner at running back is now 78. Dang. Whoa, Will Horton is a 77 overall quarterback. Please tell me his throw power and accuracy is better. Got better throw power, 73 accuracy, so he's still pretty inaccurate, but we can work with it. Harry Bridges continues to get faster, 76 overall, 88 speed. Roman Hadley at middle linebacker, 75 overall. I think I still want to start Eric Tyson though. Ooh, Rodney Calhoun, please tell me he has good throwing stats as well. His throw power is at 78, but he has... He went up five accuracy points, 82 accuracy. So he's going to be our Howard Cook for this season. Almost an identical player. Then my guy Negan Stance improving four overall points. Eric Tyson went up five overall points. Oh yeah, Rayshon Tanner is going to be an awesome speed back. He's very short though, so he might die. I assume BJ Hale is going to get the bulk of the carries. I think Negan Stance is the highest rated wide receiver we have. 72 overall. Well deserved. He's a great player. Please tell me my tight ends got better. Thank you. Both went up by five overall. Rodney Reddick, 71 overall. Let's see his catching. Because that's that was the problem last year. Oh man, 67 for both of them. This is going to be rough. Seven point boost. Nice, Jason Pitts. Putting in work in the offseason. Emma Wright tackles a 75 as well. We're starting to get a pretty good offensive line. 83 overall for Tyler Ruff. That's going to be epic. Plus three kick power up to 87. Epic. Maybe we can actually make longer field goals now. We're going to stay in the Sun Belt until I feel like we're good enough to leave it. So we're just going to move on from this one. The depth chart for this season, Will Horton will be our starting quarterback. Rodney Calhoun and Zachary Johnson will back him up. I'm going to have BJ Hale as our number one running back for most of the time. Rayshon Tanner usually will be right next to him. Yeah, we'll have it like this. So we'll bring in Jeff Warren every now and then. Sam McDonough will be our wide receiver number three, hoping to get him a ton of catches in this season. Still going to start Eric Tyson at middle linebacker just because he was so good last season. You know, getting freshman All-American, he kind of earned the starting role. Man, I am so excited for our defensive backs this season, though. Jeff Warren, Montgomery, Ramirez, Mitchell, all very young players, all going to contribute immediately. I'm going to have Jeff Warren returning punts because obvious reasons, he's quick af. It's that time of year to set a custom schedule. Tell you what, we're not doing what we did last year in starting off with three highly ranked opponents. That would be, that would be bad. To start off, we're going to give ourselves... A pretty easy game against FCS Southeast. Then we got to play our other rivals, Georgia. And we got to play them on the road because that's the way it works when we're this trash. And because I want to play more than just one ranked opponent, we have the option of either playing Mississippi State, NC State, or Tennessee. That's good. They all sound terrible. So I'm going to choose Tennessee, one of the, the weaker of them all. Two ranked opponents this season. Hopefully more wins for the pandas we have six home games this year split straight down the middle that's more than we had last year which hopefully gives us a much better chance to walk away with more victories this season and potentially a bowl game appearance the new year of recruiting let's get an update on ugf 
and how we're doing as a program. Academic prestige hasn't changed at a C, and those are our highest ones. Everything else is still garbage. Things that have improved, athletic facilities. I think pro potential has. We still have zero people in the NFL though. Conference prestige, I think it got worse. Championship contender, we're still a dumpster fire, so no, not happening. I don't think we've been on TV once, so our television exposure is still awful. Our campus lifestyle, well, our campus still smells like orange chicken. There's a lot of ugly people walking around, so D minus. We did a pretty bad job of getting our team needs last year, but we really need a dang tight end. Ooh, a gym. Oh, wow, he went down four overall points. That's ugly. Solid, solid. That guy's also not so good. Why do I even put him on my board? Checking back in on the pipeline states, we still have Ohio, Florida, and South Carolina. May lose Pennsylvania next year, so we haven't been targeting guys from Pennsylvania. Sorry, I mean, we're in Georgia, so that's kind of awkward. A pair of cellar dwellers go at it to open 2014. But that's just rude, ESPN. I'm excited for this season. We went up seven overall points as a team. That's an insane boost. Still a one star, but we're coming for the rest of the Sun Belt and the rest of the nation. We're gonna catch them off guard, I'm telling you. We're still the lowest rated in the conference, but hey, we're getting better. If we don't win this opening game, that'll be depressing. Well guys, that's pretty much all I have for this video. Wish we could have had some gameplay in this one. Hope you guys enjoyed the off season, and I hope you guys are excited for year two of the UGF Pandas. Anyways, I wanna say thank you so much for watching. You're all legends in my book, and as for me, I am Drew Morris, big old Drewski, not the expert. And I'll see all you guys in season two. Peace. That's a user interception, Cannon Manning. Go the distance, go. We got the blocks. Can he go? 67 is flying. 100 yard pick six.